Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. So, I want to talk to you guys real quick. Hello, something I always talk about, but this is important. So, please listen. Please, please, please. I know there are hundreds and hundreds of different religious outlets out there. Baptist, Protestant, Buddhism, atheists, you name it, it's all out there. I know a lot of people think the Bible was rewritten so many times that you can't trust what's in there. I used to be one of those people. And let's just say, for the sake of argument, that things were switched around. Even though it wasn't, but the basic concept of the Bible is still the same. They might change a couple of words here and there, but the basic concept is still right on point. But saying that, One day, you're not going to be able to have a Bible. It's going to be outlawed. It's coming. It is so coming. Because God is real. We did not evolve from the Big Bang Theory. It's just, it didn't happen. One day, soon, And I'm not picking dates or anything like that. But it's coming. If you look around the world, it's coming. He is coming home. A lot of people believe in free trip rapture. And you know what I have to tell you about that? And do not take my word for it. Go study yourself. They took words from the Bible and twisted it. To the point... It looks like it's going to be a free trip because that's where I was. I, I thought it was a free trip. Well, if I mess up, at least I got seven more years. No. Go look up Mark Fox, Amazing Prophecies. He, every week, he does stuff on end of the time prophecies. Um, just listen to one of his, one of his videos. Just one. Another good person to listen to and check out his uh, videos about uh, what happens when you die. Um, You don't go straight to heaven. A lot of people think you do, but you don't. Um, His name is Bible Flock Box. B-I-B-L-E-F-L-O-X B-O-X. His name is Greg. Check out some of his videos. Amazing Facts. They, They have great sermons there. But Amazing Prophecies and Bible Flock Box, you have to check them out. Especially when it comes to the Sabbath. And like I said, the end of the time prophecies. uh, The Word of God. When Sunday day law is passed. Which means you're only going to be able to worship on Sunday. You're not going to be able to buy, sell on other days. I don't know how it's going to come about. I just know that Sunday day law is coming. And when you are forced to worship man, it's going to say God, but you're going to be forced to worship man's law on Sunday. That is the mark of the beast. Now, a lot of people say the RDF chip is going to be the mark of the beast. And I'm sure that that is going to come into play towards the end of times. In half a mile, keep left to stay on US 421 South. So I am positive that's going to come into play. But that's not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast, like I said, will be when you consciously decide that you are going to forget the Keep Saturday, left to stay on US 421 South. Which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. 
You can ask anybody. And if any pastor tells you otherwise, you need to leave that church. Because that's not the Sabbath. When you consciously decide to ignore the true Sabbath, then you are decided to say you're going with man's law. Nobody gave nobody permission to change the Ten Commandments, which the Fourth Commandment is honor thy Sabbath. A lot of people think that way back in the day it got switched because uh, when Jesus Christ rose and they worship on Sunday. No, no, no. You do your history check-in. Constantine changed it in 321 A.D. He's the one that changed the Sabbath. The Roman Catholics changed the Sabbath. So, when you work, sell, buy, when you do all that stuff from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you are basically saying, you know what, God, I don't care. I don't care what you, you say. That's exactly what you're doing. From Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, I don't do nothing but worship God. Now, of course, I have messed up before and I have prepared food and I have cleaned something, and, which is just, it's a day of rest. It's a day to honor Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? Not Allah, not Buddha, because that's not the true God. One day, whether you believe it or not, and you're going to kick yourself in the butt at that time, but it's going to be too late. You are going to see God appearing in the sky. There's not going to be a second chance. You're not going to have people here and then seven years later, you know, he's going to come again. We are going to go to heaven when he comes. And then after that, the whole earth burns up. Everything on this earth burns up except for Satan and his minions. Oh, my phone's getting ready to run out. And then after a thousand years, which is like seven years down here, then we're going to come back and put down New Jerusalem and everybody's going to rise and be judged. That's it. You don't got no second chance, dude. So please do your studying. Please check out what I'm saying. Please check out the channels I just mentioned. This is... This is imperative. It's about your life. It's whether you live or die. So please, just check it out. I hope you have a blessed day. God bless.